Hi, hopefully everyone has had a great three-day weekend. You got lots of time to rest and have fun. This week, we will be starting a new project and it's called Symbolic Self-Portrait. Let me move my face so you can see my emoji. Um, this will just be a really short introduction to the project and on Wednesday during our live session, that's when I will help you get started. Okay. So our essential question for this project is, how can I represent who I am with different symbols? And if you don't know what a symbol is, a symbol is a thing or an item that represents something else. So an example could be um, a heart symbols, a heart symbol represents love. I'll fix that typo after. <laughs> um, so when you see a heart drawing, a lot of people go and think about love. So other examples of symbols. Last week, we talked about using colors to represent ideas and meanings. And this week, we will focus on shapes. These shapes don't need to be um, specifically geometric, organic, or even recognizable. These are shapes and symbols that will just represent you and who you are, however you want to interpret this project. So here's a quick example of what um, common symbols could be. So in this image, you're seeing a lot of, well, they're all different symbols of peace. So when we learned about colors last week, we learned that colors like blue and green can represent peace depending on how the artist uses it. But there are images or symbols that we also view as peace. So in the photo, there's a peace sign, um, some hand gestures that represent peace, like people coming together, holding hands, or um, the peace sign. There's also a dove um, and an olive tree branch. There's a saying, like you pass, um, or you offer an olive tree branch, and that is a sign of peace. So that changes, again, depending on your culture and your background. Um, but these are just some things to get you familiarized with using symbols. So can you think of other symbols that represent something else? Think of ones that represent love, hope, freedom, sadness, warnings, hurt, etc. It can really be anything, however you read these different items or icons. So if you think about um, like a symbol of freedom, for me, I think about the Statue of Liberty. Um, so take some time and think about uh, some symbols that you see a lot that represent all of these different large ideas. There will be a really short Google Classroom question about it next week, but you don't have to answer it this week. So let's introduce our next project, which, like I said, is called um, Symbolic Self-Portrait. So this on the right is an example. You're going to create something similar. It does not need to be exact. And again, I'll go over more details when we actually see each other on Wednesday. But our main project goal is to create a self-portrait with at least 10 items that symbolize who you are. So after you finish this video, please go back to our Google Classroom to view our project brainstorm list and fill out those questions to help you get started. Your brainstorm list is going to be due tomorrow, Tuesday, November 17th. So in the list, you'll see different questions like, what's your favorite color? Do you have siblings? Um, what's your first language? Is, or like favorite TV show? Really random things that are personal and specific to who you are. So you can create a self-portrait that symbolizes you um, that way. We're only drawing half of what each person looks like, what you look like, and the other half will be different items, different symbols that represent you. And I will explain all of the symbols that you're seeing during our live session, but if you recognize any, then you're, you're learning a bit about me. Let me know if you have any questions, feel free to email me, um, and I'll see you on Wednesday.